Good evening and welcome to your Saturday night video where you know the routine I work, laundry's done. My laundry got done about an hour ago. Last CFL game of the night and then last CFL game of the week. Ended about five or ten minutes ago. I think it's more ten ish. Toronto beat Ottawa forty to twenty seven. Earlier in the day, Montreal beat Edmonton. At, let's see, I think it's thirty. Let's see, let's look at the score: thirty five to twenty one. I right, capped off week nineteen. Of course, late last night, Calgary came back and beat Saskatchewan. Put in their playoff hopes. Forward, I guess. The uh, key is more keeping alive their playoff hopes. Well, from what I heard, it wasn't exactly the best game of the season. Yeah, Riders found another way to pull out Riders and lose. They're on the road to another 6 and 12 season. Disappointing, really, for them. Meanwhile, my Elks, well, as I mentioned, lost in the last home game of the season. They actually ended up getting two home wins. So they went two and seven. Two and six on the road. Oh, their last game is in Winnipeg. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, I'll be ne next week's schedule has next Friday, Calgary at BC. Next Saturday, Toronto at Saskatchewan and Edmonton at Winnipeg. Ooh, Winnipeg's going to be watching that Calgary-BC game closely because they're going to be one. Uh, the, the West still has not been decided. It's also BC's last game of the year next week, so. The Winnipeg's going to be looking for Calgary to win. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, no, Winnipeg's going to be out full of force against Edmonton, sorry, so it's going to be. Yeah, I should make my pick a little easy. And then there's Toronto Saskatchewan. Toronto's in a spot where they can end up with an identical rec record that Edmonton had in 1989. 16 and 2. They had the Edmonton had the West final and I don't know, did they got cancelled. I just got majorly upset them. I think they went to Calgary first and then upset them. And then there was that epic Grey Cup in 89. Yeah, definitely, definitely top five. Great, for best Grey Cup games. Toronto and Edmonton in 87. Yeah, that would be another one of the top five. Easy. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm wearing a Blues jersey tonight because they're playing right now and they're tight at one. Last I seen. Anyways. 19 yesterday's double jeopardy category was 1990's number one hits for 1200. Answer. She was coming out of the dark. Sans Miami Sound Machine in 1991. As I figured, who is Gloria Estefan? I don't know who is Gloria Estefan. Ah. And to finish off the double jeopardy round with 1990's number one hits for 2000, answer, bills, 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 piled up for this female group in 1999. Nah, I have no idea. Tomorrow's final jeopardy category is Europe, by the way. So... 
yeah, I'm getting back into that after I went through two weeks where I totally forgot to throw that in there. But yeah, so tomorrow's cow final Jeopardy category is Europe. So what do you know? Think about it as you think about the answer to today's clue. And I will repeat it. Where it's bills, bills, bills piled up for this female group in 1999. For 1990s now, number one hits. Mm, no idea. Not a flipping clue. I don't feel like looking. No cheating. Uh, somebody's going to go use, use Google and look it up anyway, so... I'm not going to do that. Because I just don't want to do that. Oh, yes. Play two of the... Played game two of the 1971 Stanley Cup Finals. And Chicago's now up two games to nothing. Yeah, they won game two. Uh, well, lately, it's played from pretty much 1965 onwards. A two-game series lead hasn't always been safe. Will this, will this trend continue? Well, let's find let's find out on Monday, because I've got my I've got game three on Monday, I've got game four on Wednesday. So yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for tonight, at least for at least for this video. So in the meantime, and in between time. Stay tuned for the next one.